Would you like to know the best background to become a cloud architect or a solutions architect? If so, this video is for you. My name is Mike Gibbs. I'm the CEO of Go Cloud Careers, and I've been an enterprise architect for approximately 25 years now. I've trained people that work at Apple, Amazon, Cisco, Google, IBM, Microsoft, Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, Capgemini, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Barclays Bank, Zscaler, Palo Alto Networks, and so many other organizations. And I want to talk about why there really isn't any best background to be a cloud architect or a solutions architect and why anyone really can. And here's why we're going to talk about why, except for very few careers, there really isn't a best background. So I want you to understand this. And I also understand that what you used to do really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, architecture is a career. It's a career of about a thousand different skills that you ultimately would need. And it's a great career, but no matter what career you're at, you probably don't have most of the skills anyway, but it doesn't matter. You can learn them. So anyone can learn them. So let's talk about the kind of skills a cloud architect would need, a solutions architect would need, an enterprise architect would need. So it's going to be a big list of skills. So if I have a solutions architect or a cloud architect, for example, they're going to need sales skills. They're going to need good, strong communication skills. They're going to need good, strong presentation skills, extremely good executive writing skills, uh, great leadership skills, executive presence, uh, CXO relevancy, lots of business knowledge or acumen, a strong set of negotiation skills, knowledge of how to build a business case, respond to RFIs, RFPs, RFQs. Now that cloud architect or solutions architect or enterprise architect is also still going to need to know network design, security design, application design, data and big data design, AI type design, uh, unified communications, uh, storage design, compute design, data center design, and hi private hybrid and multi-cloud architecture design. So that's a whole lot of stuff. So now let's look at the tale of two different people. The first person I'm going to show you is going to be a sales executive, and the second person is going to be a software engineer. Now, I will tell you that sales is one of the better backgrounds to become an architect. I will also tell you that medicine is a very good background as well as law because of the way architects work. But let's talk about the sales route. So when I went through a list of skills that the architects needed and I said sales skills, communication skills, presentation skills, executive writing skills, leadership skills, CXO relevancy, business knowledge, negotiation skills, and how to build a business case. And then I talked about the tech skills. So if I take an account executive or someone with executive skills, they already know how to sell, how to communicate, how to give a good presentation, how to speak to executives, how to build a business case, how to have the business knowledge, because that's their job. They've already been doing it. So what do they need to learn? Network design, security design, application design, data and big data design, AI design, unified communications, the tech stuff, right? So that's why sales reps are typically easy to work with. Well, let's take another person, another kind of professional that I have deep respect for a software engineer. Now this software engineer has, let's say I have a software engineer with 10 years experience and they are an expert at coding. Now let's talk about what happens when they choose to become a cloud architect. Well, they have to learn still network design, security design, big data design, AI design, most likely, uh, unified communication, storage design, compute design, data center, and private hybrid and multi-cloud design, because they won't be learning that from coding. They'll know how to code. Now that software engineer will still need to learn how to sell and have a business level communication skills and presentation skills, executive writing skills, leadership skills, executive presence, CXO relevancy, business acumen, how to build the business case. You get the point. They have almost all of the skills to learn except for just the software. So you can see why in many cases it really doesn't matter. There's a certain number of things that you actually learn. Now, there are some people like physicians who have to walk into an office. They have to ask a whole lot of questions. They have to gather information. They have to look at evidence, make a diagnosis, and build a plan. Now, that's a whole lot like the architect job. So the key to remember is anybody can be an architect. It really doesn't matter what your background was you have to learn the right set of skills. So 
If you were a nurse, great. I've trained nurses that are now working as cloud architects. If you were a food server, great. I've trained food servers like Yvonne, who's now working at AWS as a solutions architect. I've helped sales reps like Al go from, or, or Wallace, both of them, go from sales. In Al's case, it was to Deloitte. In Wallace's case, it was to J.P. Morgan Chase as either senior solutions architects or enterprise architects. But the point is, any of you can become an architect, but you're going to need the right set of skills. But understand, in most cases, there is no good, ba no great background because everybody will basically have the set of skills for their job and still have to learn a whole other. So don't worry about it. If you'd like to become a cloud architect, enterprise architect, AI architect, security architect, for example, join us in a free architecture webinar, which you'll be able to sign up for in the description of this video. On this webinar, we will go over the architectural role, what we do, all the skills you need, and that'll take about 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll answer any questions you want about your architecture career live and free on Zoom. So sign up for that. The link is in the description of this video. There are also many more free resources for you in the description of this video, and I encourage you to check them out and make use of them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your cloud architect, enterprise architect, AI architect, or security architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in a free webinar or another video on our channel. Take care.